is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with uh, the first edition of Quick Hits today. We'll be back uh, a little later uh, with the second show. And our Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, two shows a day, eight to ten minutes a day, just to keep you up to date with all the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Today we're going to break down the prospect of the month who put on a spectacular performance in Puerto Rico. But before we do that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, remember, as uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Keep you updated on all the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, there's a link in the description um, for TACA, which is talking about curing... <clears throat> I'm sorry. The... Autism Community in Action. It's the Autism Community in Action. Um, and it's a cause that's near and dear to the heart of 3D Boxing. Um, if you can at least share it, that's great. Um, if you can donate, if that's a possibility, uh, we always appreciate that as well. But the link is in the description. It's a worthwhile cause uh, helping people recover from autism. Um, but let's get into today's show. Today's show, the prospect of the month, Puerto Rican phenom, Carlos Caraballo. Um he fought on the Amanda Serrano uh, versus Bermuda's card in his um, home, native native home of Puerto Rico. Uh, really, really spectacular performance. Moves to 14-0 with 14 knockouts. I mean, this is a guy to keep your eye on. 122-pounder. As if the 122-pound division isn't loaded enough. Um, the 122-pound division is as loaded or more loaded with young talent than the 135-pound division. Um, and, and, and this is a guy that's at the top of that list. Uh, this is a spectacular performance. It's his second good win in a row. He's got a win over Mike Oliver. Now he's got a win over Leonardo Baez uh, of Mexico. Tough guy, durable guy. And he absolutely blew him out. Um, knocked him down in the second. He's got the short left uppercut that is on the money. And he throws it from different angles, kind of like a shovel hook he'll throw too. Um, and it's just his timing with all of his punches are so quick and so finesse uh, and, and, and brutal. And 14 knockouts, he doesn't look like a big puncher, but it's kind of like a Zab Judah effect, right? Like, these punches don't look big, but they're just sharp and on the point, and they hurt people. Um, he's got, this guy's legitimate. Um, you know, 122's got Brandon Figueroa, who's got, that would be a regular. It's got Stephen Fulton, who's got a belt. It's got Ray Saleem, who might be the best guy in the weight class. Uh, Louis Neary's in there. I mean, um, there is so much young talent in this division. Uh, Trace, uh, Trace on Williams, uh, um, Tremaine, I'm sorry, Tremaine Williams, um, Vic Pasayas. Like, there's so much young talent in this division, and this kid's right at the top of it. Angelo Leo. Um, He's going to be tough to beat It's because he's got power. He's got the speed and the skills like, like Stephen Fuller, but he's got accurate, you know, he's real accurate with his combinations, pinpoint, laser-like precision, surgeon-like precision with his combinations. Um, and he moves the, he moves around well. I mean, th this is, a, if it was a baseball analogy, like we'd call Ken Griffey Jr. a 5 tool player, this is a 5 tool prospect. Uh, he's going to be moved up. I would imagine fairly quickly. Uh, Puerto Rico obviously has a long history of, of great fighters from that small fighting island nation. Um, it's only an island of 3 million and so people. It's about the size of the population, about the population of Mississippi. Um, and despite that, it keeps turning out great fighters. Um, they need a new star. It's not Felix Verdejo. Okay? It could be this guy. This guy is the goods. This guy may be what they thought Verdejo was. He's athletic. He's quick. He's powerful. Um, he's a southpaw, too. Um, Carabao is. There's not much not to like about this guy. Um, I, I, look, I'd like to see him fight either Vic Pesayas next. Um, Mick Conlon, I think, would be a great fight. They could do that at Madison Square Garden. Um, in the small building when boxing returns, I think that would do well. you got a Puerto Rican fighter, an Irish fighter in New York City. Mick Conlon's already done there. Puerto Rican fighters always do well. And you can kind of showcase, kind of highlight this guy. But everything you'd want in a prospect, 
is there. The power, check, speed, check, accuracy, timing, uh, footwork. His footwork is great. He comes in with angles. He's a southpaw. Like, um, if you haven't watched the, the Ring City USA card, this guy, and Serrano, Amanda Serrano did great. Right? Obviously, seven division weight, uh, seven weight division world champion, Hall of Famer. Got it. We expected greatness with her. This guy was a shock. Um, this is like the first time you saw Canelo on the Mosley um, Mayweather card. You're like, wow, we got something here. That's kind of the feeling I got with this guy. Um, again, 14 0, 14 knockouts. Um, he, and look, he fought Baez and he fought Oliver before that. So it's not like he's being moved up in baby steps. I'd like to see him take a big step up next because he's ready. He just blew out Baez and stopped him in four rounds. Made this corner throw in the towel, dropped him in the second, beat him up in the third. Uh, and then they, they came in the fourth and they stopped it. It was that dominating performance. It was it was an A plus 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 performance. I, there's not much you can do better. I'd like to see him use his jab a little more. He does flip it off, but he gets lazy with it. He went down to the body. Um, maybe start early because he didn't really start going down to the body till the fourth round. Once he did, it was over pretty quickly. Um, maybe start the body attack earlier. But man, any improvement with this guy? And and, and there's always room to improve. But we're nitpicking. Like, he, he's got it all. Um, again, he, this guy fits in nicely at the 122-pound division. Um, he's not really tied down to any promotional side of the street. He's not a top-ranked guy. He's not a PBC guy. So we can move him quickly. Um, I, I don't know if Manny Rodriguez wants to go to 122, but we can do an all-Puerto Rican showdown against Manny Rodriguez. But there's so many options for this guy. And honestly, he's so good. He can win any of them. He could win any of them. I, I don't know how quick they're going to move him, but I, I would say let's get him going because he's special. Um, he's the best Puerto Rican prospect that I've seen to come around in a while, and he's one of the best prospects in boxing, period. Period. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Did you guys see the performance? If you haven't, go back and watch it. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, are you as hyped out on him as I am? Do you think he does well against Fulton or Angelo Leo or... Um, Brandon Figueroa, how do you think he, he meshes and matches up with those guys? Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, two shows a day. I'll keep you up to date on all the boxing news and rumors. Please like and subscribe. Share us on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. Um, remember the link to the... Uh, Autism Community in Action, TACA, T-A-C-A, is in the description. Uh, please share that as well. If you can, please donate to it. Uh, that's a possibility. And we know it's tough times for, for a lot of people, but if it's a possibility, um, please donate. If you can't share it, that's free. Um, it only takes a second. Um, thoughts, comments below. It is April 5th, 2021. Ivan Calderon, who... Announced his fight, who called his fight, uh, is not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy into the Hall of Fame. Uh, let's do that in the class 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.